Good evening, everyone. First of all, I would like to say thank you to Susanna, wherever she is, taking photos <laughs> for the invitation, and especially that she didn't give up on me since I declined her invitations for several years for all kinds of reasons. I think besides um, that I was still shaping the direction of my career, I was also just a chicken to get up here um, in the company of you know, all the accomplished people. And also I was waiting for the right moment. But how many times do we wait for the right moment to do something, to, to say something to someone, or to start something we are dreaming about? So then I realized I need to use the same philosophy as I did when I started my company. And I told myself that there is never a perfect moment. It's now or never. So for the same reasons, I'm here tonight. And um, it's called a challenge for a reason, right? <laughs> So as you can see behind me, this is Lien, where I was born, modern industrial city connected mostly with Baťa. For those who don't know, Tomáš Baťa was a visionary, business leader, and a philanthropist who basically expanded the town from about 4,000 people to tens of thousands of people uh, by building a shoe factory and giving people jobs. One interesting fact is that there is a building that we call Skyscraper, which is 254 feet tall, which was the second tallest building in Europe in its time. So you see, I didn't have to grow up in New York to be around skyscrapers. All my life, I have been accompanied by music and art, thanks to my parents. So when I made the decision to go uh, study piano performance at a conservatory in Kroměříž, which is a beautiful town near Zlín, it was not a surprise, especially since I was not a fan of math either. One of the advantages of studying uh, close to Zlín was our International Zlín Film Festival, as you can see there, which is a prestige event happening once a year, and it's similar to the one in Karlovy Vary where the entire town gets amazingly alive um, with movie screenings and concerts and all kinds of fun programs and celebrities. So I would always volunteer to be part of this environment and I believe that this was the root of my career choice. When I started studying piano at the conservatory, I had often this big problem and dilemma that my classes overlapped with my priorities, such as spending time in Prague and going to concerts and jazz clubs, you know, and the movie festival. So one time I pretended to be sick to attend this festival, and I ended up on the national TV, Česká Televize, being interviewed about the movie that I saw. So, of course, at uh, the same night, my professor saw me there, which, <laughs> which resolved in an excused absence. So, at that moment, I decided that probably it would be better to pursue a career that I will love, so I don't have to lie to my boss. So now, ironically, that I am my own boss, lying to myself is uh, quite challenging. <laughs> Fast forward. <clears throat> when I graduated, I decided that I need an international experience. So I ended up in Chester, New Jersey, working at a local farm. So I went from my flashy environments of concerts to pumpkins and pick your own vegetables. <clears throat> Long story short, I definitely learned a lesson or two. And by miracle of meeting amazing people who helped me a lot, I was able to get a bachelor's degree in music business at William Patterson University in New Jersey, which made me gravitate back to what I love. And um, I became part of all the artistic organizations I could find, such as Lincoln Center, where I volunteered and worked in, in exchange for free tickets. So finally, I established New F Art, arts management and production company, where I am dedicated to three things, which are artistic management, artistic visas for the US, and promoting Czech culture in the US. I have been collaborating with uh, different kind of artists, uh, from music to visual. We also successfully facilitated already several um, artistic visas, as I mentioned before, which makes me very happy that we keep going. Um, 
And to give something specific, uh, now I exclusively represent uh, pianist Matyash Novak, Czech talented young man who had his first US tour in September. We also had a concert here in this building and he's coming back in the spring. Recently, I also had the honor to help with organization uh, of this year's gala fundraiser for the Václav Havel Center. So that was a huge privilege. I'm excited for some big plans and projects in this upcoming year that include, for example, a co-production of a concert in Carnegie Hall. So make sure to follow me everywhere on social media and my website so you don't miss anything. I'm looking forward to hearing the other presenters. Good luck and have a nice evening. Thank you. Well, I'd like to congratulate Jana for nailing it in about five and a half minutes. <laughs> no pressure, everyone. <laughs>